Excelsi Scoop, the insider's take on rugby's greatest prize. G'day, Matt Burke here from Australia, and there is still controversy around this World Cup. As I've seen at the moment, there is plenty to talk about with the French taking on New Zealand. Now, France have gone in with an understrength team, which is quite interesting because everybody was waiting in anticipation for this game to take on the Kiwis in their hometown. Everyone was thinking, the French, are they going to be able to do something special and take this Kiwi team? That is no doubt the favourite so far. They've chosen a team that, well, is, is all over the shop. Uh, Trindoc is now not playing at 10. Morgan Parra goes there. And then you've got the other guys uh, stepping into the team who are probably not the favourites to, to take on this New Zealand outfit. In the end, what we've seen is, well, are they trying to doctor the system? Are they trying to work around it that they get an easier side of the draw on the way through rather than taking on someone like a South Africa on the way through or even a, a meeting the New Zealand team again? Now, Australia, close to my heart, they had an ordinary game against Ireland the other day, but we can see that they've chosen a strong team to take on the USA. Now, the interesting part about that is Quade Cooper is staying in his 10 spot, his 10 role. Uh, we saw him the other week perhaps not be too patient, wasn't patient enough. He needs to throw the ball around, no doubt about it, but he needs to hang on to it in contact. I wonder if this weekend they're going to stay to him, hey, at number 10, you stay there, you stand there in the defensive line and you make those tackles. I know sometimes number 10s aren't renowned for making those tackles and being too up front and too physical, but we've seen other players do it in the past. Andrew Mertens, great mate of mine, perhaps wasn't the best tackler, and he'll probably tell you that as well, but he stood there in the defensive line and had a real crack at the same time. Mornay Stain, uh, you know, he, he's, he throws the ball about at the moment. He's, he's throwing some, he's throwing, showing some, some good form at the moment, but his defence is, you know, it's not the world's best, but he has a crack at the same time. Quade Cooper, you've got to do the same. Interestingly enough, Will Genia now holds the captain's armband this weekend. No James Horwell he gets rested. So the team needs to do something special against the USA. They need to score tries. They need to put points on the board. They need to get the bonus point. Make sure the differential is very good. Make sure the, the for and against is right up there. Because Ireland, they're out in front. They've got the two wins. They're only on eight points at the moment. No bonus points. The Aussies, they need to push hard. Because the Italians, well, they're certainly having a crack. They beat Russia quite convincingly, quite convincingly, I should say, the other day. So now Russia uh, are going to be a, um, a big game at the end there for the Aussie boys as well. Now the other pools, well, uh, Argentina, well, they're having a real crack at Scotland this weekend, and let's hope that's going to be one of the games of the week. Scotland have been playing terrible rugby. Let's hope Argentina can overcome them, because if Scotland make their way through into the quarterfinal, I'll tell you what, we are in a real state of sorry affairs. Well, that's about all we've got time for here down in the Oz. It's, uh, it's sun, as I said, sun is setting, and it still heats up, though, over in New Zealand. We look forward to the games on the weekend. New Zealand, France, going to be absolutely massive. Friday night, the Aussie boys, can they strut their stuff and win, and win well against the USA? Celsius Scoop, the insider's take on rugby's greatest prize.